Good afternoon everyone, it's Sunday the 20th of December. So, first thing to say to everybody is Happy Christmas and um, I wish you a good new year, whatever it may bring, wherever you are. I um, appreciate all of those of you that regularly follow my ramblings. Uh, last count, 860 odd subscribers, of which if I look at some of the YouTube stats, um, over 100 of you. <laughs> come back <laughs> time and time again <laughs> for more of this so it's much appreciated um thought I'd mention also i hadn't intended to monetize this channel i loathe some of the appallingly poor taste adverts that google pushes via the youtube um platform but it would appear having read some of the recent announcements that everyone's going to end up with adverts plastered all over their videos if I find my view account drops off uh, or whatever, I may not bother making videos anymore. Um, I do this purely for um, entertainment purposes. There's no money to be made out of this. And to have them spoilt by inappropriate adverts, I'm in two minds whether I'm going to carry on doing videos. But time will tell. Time will tell. So this is just a wrap up um, of the video about my Elfro flooring. Um, the segment you'll see shortly was filmed a couple of weeks ago where I described the, um, the way I've used a piece of builder's plastic basically that I'd already stapled onto the four individual pieces of plywood um, as a template, as a perfect template. Um, I also think I mentioned that the roll of outro flooring I bought, I've had stored in the garage for some time, rolled up into quite a tight roll. Bad mistake. <laughs> it ended up with ridges in it. And I thought, oh, that's not going to stick down very well. But, fortunately, um, it has. Good afternoon, everyone. It's um, a nice, bright, sunny 2nd December. Forecast for tomorrow is um, potentially snow. So maybe uh, rain stops play for the next few days. But I decided I'd better get the floor laid. Over the past couple of days, I've, well, I've modified this box. This was the original plywood box that supported the original floor, and as you can see, I've had to extend it using a, some cut down battens. And I've put um, these are one of the original access panels that were in the van. I've put that in there because we can use this box for storage. Uh, I won't be using very many of these access panels, they were originally for the aerials and things. I won't be using them again, so uh, sort of grab one there. And here, this one, I've made this up out of bits of plastic um, that originally came out was. This is 18mm plastic. It was just so much easier to work with and I needed to fabricate a box allowed the rubber stop. That rubber stop there. When I first bought this van that stop wasn't there and I noticed when opening and closing the doors it would slightly well, well go beyond the uh, range of that lower runner. Only by a few mil but it was putting strain on the the bearing down there and probably the top bearing because that stop wasn't there and wasn't doing its job but of course in order to use that stop as the door closes the original box that was there was just a plywood box which was just a flat surface and then the entire thing was covered originally with the um, outro flooring the blue stuff that was originally this van so I've made this plastic box up which gives me an opening there it's not going to stay like that. This will be covered in the outro flooring that I use on the floor in this van. Um, so I'm not bothered about umpteen screws in place. And I will actually glue all this together before I assemble it. And I'm also going to be able to reuse all the aluminium trim that originally framed this step opening. And again, this is the original step opening. And I've delayed laying this floor and I've delayed building these boxes in case I had to actually either modify the opening, this opening here or anything else. But I'm going to be able to make this all work using the existing fittings. These pieces of metal here are the original finish to the step area. I've just put three down so you can see what I'm getting on about. Where the Sikaflex is there, for some reason they'd actually glued in the yellow and black uh, safety stripe in. It's a rubber insert. Why they glued it in I don't know because it actually clips in. There's no need for it. But I decided rather than make life half for self, and seeing as I'd already bought and paid for all this stuff effectively when I bought the van, I'd reuse this trim and frame out the uh, step. But I couldn't do it 
until I was satisfied that the unit that we're installing would not end up either going over the edge of this step and ideally I wanted it to stop before it hit this metal about there and that's exactly where it's going to come out we'll end up with um, a slight cut out in the unit for part of the uh, wheel arch there but it won't intrude upon this aluminium trim so now I've got to the point where I've been framing out the wall and adding the insulation using this um, YBS super quilt I built a box for that wheel arch there but I started to realize I really ought to get the floor laid down now simply because the way things are going i am ended up building things only to have to take them all out to relay the floor I've been putting off putting the floor down because it'll get marked and damaged uh, not damaged as such but it'll get dirty and marked um, especially with the dog running out so what I had done because I'm reusing the original plywood floor from the ambulance which originally had um, L-Tro floor and stuck to it I can't remember whether I did it in a previous video or not but I ended up cleaning up the plywood and removing as much of the old residue of contact adhesive off it as possible but the plywood isn't in fantastic condition you know reusing it saved me 150 200 pounds in buying four sheets of ply so it's sensible to do it so i made this uh, plastic covering this is standard vapor barrier plastic for building um, i've made this plastic covering and what that has effectively given me also is a template now i've already trapped that edge as part of when i was fitting this piece of plywood there and i thought before i actually go and finish insulating and cladding this side I might as well use this template to cut the floor out. Also, in having a template, it's very, very useful. You'll see those six um, black things there. They're tie downs. They're out of a Volkswagen T4 or T5 transporter. But I wanted some tie downs for the boot area of the van. These come up on eBay, all six for about £15. Um, I've had to make some aluminium spacers so that I can bolt them down securely. But this plastic sheet gives me a perfect template. The same here. This is where the two runners, the uh, sorry, the two bits of unwind track are going. They're the only bits of unwind track I'm actually keeping in the van, and these are going to support a seat with a seat belt. But the whole template works out well, and uh, I will lift this up and transfer it onto the piece of outro we're using. But the theme is green, and therefore I've got some green flooring, which, weather permitting, I may actually be cutting the size over the next day or so it's currently unrolled in our conservatory because it's been rolled up in my workshop for several months and um, unfortunately it's not rolled out unrolled completely flat so I'm leaving it to settle but as soon as the thing's settled I will have this plastic template up transfer it onto the flooring and then I can continue lining the sides of the van something else worth mentioning these boxes I've made that are actually going to be supporting the edge of the floor I haven't um, permanently fixed them yet and I probably won't glue down the edge of the floor either um, obviously because I need to put some screws through the um, plywood into the boxes and then there will also be screws going straight through the floor through this aluminium and into the box as well but the reason for not actually fixing them yet is because of the sliding door I think it was Mel's Van World um, he first mentioned this and it it, it, it it was a good reminder I'm gonna have as I was saying just now a dirty great kitchen unit it's actually a, a pine sideboard I've bought secondhand which will house our cooker uh, and sink and may even have the gas bottle in it but it's a standalone unit that comes up virtually to that edge of the aluminium it will block off part of the doorway you need access to the doorway to trim it. Especially that piece on the left hand side. With the cabinet in the way, and even with those boxes underneath the floor in the way, it's going to be difficult to template, let alone affix, the panelling that's going to go there. Now I just happen to have a piece of plastic sheet that 
which originally you can actually see the dirty mark. There used to be a white plastic sheet there. It arrived um, with a big hole in it where somebody had put a motorbike um, <laughs> against it. But I've got a plastic sheet which I can use as a template. Unfortunately, that plastic sheet has also got holes marked in it for all the um, fixing points. I may use them, I may not. I probably will use them at the lower point, and I will probably screw the sheet on. I don't know what I'll cover the sheet in. At the moment, it's a piece of plastic. I'll probably make a plywood copy of it um, because it's damaged, and maybe cover it in vinyl or something waterproof. I haven't decided yet. I'd like, ideally, to create a sheet that covers the entire door in one piece because this is going to be this window is going to be framed out. It's going to have a blind on it. It's going to be double glazed as well. But I think might work. I think it's wider than the four feet actually. I think I don't think I'll get away with it in a single sheet of plywood. I have to do some measuring. But if not then it's going to be a, a sheet to, to cover that lower part of the door which may be sensible um, for maintenance of the door and thing to remove it. And then a separate sheet up there covering that in. But either way you need to be able to get at it to put the screws in. Uh, and it will certainly need to be able to get at it to make the actual template. So anything that obstructs your ability to get down to those that bottom corner bit of an issue so again i will probably end up before i actually permanently affix the kitchen unit and before i permanently attach these two boxes i will probably at least be trimming this lower part of the door and that that could well actually be the very first finished part of the van will be the lower part of this door time will tell um it's something i need to get on with I just can't quite decide yet what I want to finish the lower part of the door with. My mind thinking vinyl, simply because it's easy to clean, especially the dogs coming in and out. But my, vinyl can get ever so easily marked and scuffed. But I suppose when you think about it, if you do it properly, these panels are really removed. Now, they do an extended plastic clip. You can get them in various colours. But you can buy extended plastic clips that go into these um, holes here. To a take into account that you may be using insulation or whatever um, I haven't decided whether to use them yet or maybe I will put in plus plugs which you can then put a screw into and I'll use a screw and a cup washer because using the plus plugs will give me um, cold bridge isolation so the, the screws in theory shouldn't um, have condensation forming on them but that's uh, on my to-do list and uh, as I first job is just to make the panel second job is to decide what I'm going to cover it within and then the third job really is do I fill it do I make it full of holes or do I glue it on and I think I know I will have to screw it on but the important thing is you don't put your kitchen unit in the way where you may be trying to get to <laughs> with a screwdriver until you've done that panel and uh, Mel was you know it was a sensible bit of advice from Mel I wouldn't have actually thought of it until well I'd like to think I would have thought of it before it was too late. So, first things first, glue. Originally the flooring in this van was stuck down with um, what appeared to be a contact, a solvent based contact adhesive. We're now in the middle of uh, winter, middle of December. I didn't want to use contact adhesive because once the stuff is down, it's down, and repositioning the flooring, so on and so forth, you know, one huge piece of vinyl, I was a bit dubious I'd actually be able to do that. So I have used this stuff from Wix, Tenner for two and a half, uh, 2.75 kilograms. This is your standard vinyl flooring adhesive you'd use in houses on concrete flooring. It has the advantage that it allows um, you to reposition the floor, move it or whatever, it goes off eventually and that's probably the emphasis on the term eventually. It's, I've left this a, a week and a half, maybe two weeks, how long is it? About a week and a half before I actually did any work in the van, just to be absolutely certain it had gone off because it's simply too cold. I should have done this months ago but I didn't. So with that let's just show you what I've actually finished. So the first thing to mention is there's the um, well, effectively, the finished uh, trim around the floor. I mentioned this in the previous part of the video, where I just showed you these aluminium trims. Unfortunately, the yellow and black stuff, this is the original that came out of the van. It's not as mite as well as it needs to be, and there's some damage in that corner there. Um, 
but I think as I mentioned before I paid for it so I've used it and there's the first box I haven't made the other box yet uh, but there's the first box and that's the um, Unwinds track that I mentioned there's 12 high tensile bolts in each one I actually had to go and buy some new bolts um, these are M8 capped Allen bolts. I had to buy some new ones because all the original ones were effectively an inch too short or miles too long. Some of them do actually go through the chassis rails. Uh, there's a couple there that are, I think, nine inches long. Um, I actually had to buy two longer bolts. The rest I was able to reuse um, with the exception of the ones I wanted. The, uh, these are 70 mil instead of, I think, 50 mil. So 24 high tensile bolts. And that is the frame, obviously, without the seat for the seat that's going there and that's approximately where that's going to end up obviously we won't know for sure but um, that gives me a nice secure strong anchorage point for the seat and then in the back there those are the six tie downs that I mentioned earlier on so I simply used the piece of vinyl flooring that I cut out of the holes um, to actually uses an insert it just makes it a bit neater than the black plastic was already there and again these are new bolts high tensile bolts they're not done up massively tight there's huge spreader plates underneath all the i'm reusing all the spreader plates that came in the day originally but it does, does give me some tie downs to use in the boot area and it ties up six holes that i'd have otherwise had to fill and at the back i've bought a piece of 50 mil checker plate just to trim off the back of the floor with 50 mil works perfectly I think that cost me about 12 pounds and then the flooring is, is just rough cut at that end I mean this length of flooring I think was 4.4 meters anyway it was an off cut from eBay as you can see the floor's gone down flat it was ridged where I'd unrolled the uh, matting I'd actually left it for a week in the conservatory unrolled but it still was ridged in places um, from where I'd had it rolled up say too tightly in the in the um, garage for oh, really, many months fortunately though this vinyl flooring adhesive I've used it's really high tack and um, it was dead easy to smooth it out and as you can see that's come up that I cut this vinyl off exactly off the size of that plastic template that I had stapled onto the original plywood flooring it's fitted perfectly it literally can you see it there you can see just there, you can probably see one of the red marks. That was my cut line off the template. And, um, you know, it's it's a easy technique. You know, you just staple a bit of plastic onto your bits of plywood once you've cut them to size. Trim them with a knife around the edge. Lay all your bits of plywood, then join all the bits of plastic together with tape. And you've got an instant template that you can move when you want to use it. And I can lay it down to protect the floor. I'll obviously have to trim it for the size of this box because originally it was the template was around the wheel arch. But um, yeah, it's just a convenient thing. I'm glad my seat mounting actually clips in properly. I was wondering whether once I screwed these um, pieces of trap down, whether it would move slightly. And as you can see, there's some box section in there which is just joining the two pieces together. I shall actually be fitting some tube in that later on and welding it. But it does all fit, which means everything's still square and aligned. There you go. Thanks for watching. As I said at the beginning, happy Christmas. Happy New Year. Look after yourselves. Um, and for those of us that um, I've met in the past, or, you know, we will meet up again in the not too distant future. Take care for now. Bye.